District, Yuri. And budget impact only. Yeah, uh, we are, we're right current through May. <coughs> through May, we're running a 346,000 Five hundred and seventy-four hundred dollar variance, positive variance, underspend. Well, Eighty-two percent of that is a result of employee benefits. That is to say, since we're budgeting a year, a year and a half out, we take percentages given to us by the state, and they're usually on the high side. So, eighty-two percent of that variance came out of health insurance expense. District-wide was one hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars underspend. So, what we went. Wow. With, what they told us, 197, 197 out of the 283. So it's, that's 70% of the total overrun in the, or underrun in the um, employee benefits area. In, in total, again, we're 346,574 under the budget. But if you take out these employee benefits that we had to use certain percentages uh, from that the state gave us when we budgeted in the, f in the, in the fall of, uh, 014, if you will. Um, <clears throat> we're, we're, what I'm saying is we're going to be budgeting now for 16, 17. We're way out there in terms of budgeting. They right. give us a percentage, and it's usually lower, and that's where we get this big variance. But now are you 346.574 under as of Under, as of, of end of May. May. Right. So you still have one more month. Right. right. And yet almost 200,000 of that was unanticipated because of misleading, if you will. Right on. Wrong term. So, yeah. you know, we're, right. so if you take out that. Misleading what? Well, the percentage is given to us by the state right. for health oh. insurance. You give them if you take out that employee benefit amount, right. mm -hmm. you're, you're left with $62,000, yeah, so which like, gives you a budget accuracy of 99.66%. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> pretty close. Well, wow. yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're yeah, right, right there. It's, it's, it's excellent. <laughs> when, 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 when school always does a good job. Oh, they do. Yeah, because, man, I'm I mean, even, yeah. even when they come before the school board mm -hmm. uh, and we go over every line, which I do here for the town, uh, they come in on the conservative and prudent side between Nate and you made things wonderful. Uh, and, uh, and Kathy uh, Murphy. They're coming in as prudent and conservative. And I have a hard time squeezing yeah. money out of there. No, I know. Uh, I'm lucky if I get thirty, forty thousand out of there. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, when when uh, schools are closed due to inclement weather, yeah, uh, those days are made up subsequently. Well, they're given. There's, there's also, a certain amount of. But days there's also there's also utility costs that still take place while the school's closed, and again, when the schools are, the days are made up and all that sort of stuff, is there some sense of what the cost is for a school day closure? But it does exist. There is a cost. There is a cost. I mean, you know, you have, well, I mean, it's, it's there. It's budgeted as being open. You've got to keep your heat up. And your lights may not be burning as bright. And, and your teachers are being paid. You know, I mean, there's, a, there's almost like a fixed cost, you know. Jerry, is there something built into the contracts that when you have a snow day, the teachers are paid regardless? Or do they take that as a personal day, or do you know? Well, right now, I think the state requires 180 days. We're make, uh, we're, we, our contracts are calling for like 183 or 104, 184. So the absolute state requirement is 180. Our teachers are signed up, I believe, by contract for 183 or 184, something like that. So it usually balances out. It balances out. out. It's, there isn't any mismatch there. I mean, uh, um, but relatively speaking, not significant. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm... <laughs> It's it's deadly accurate when you when you take out the employee benefits. Wow. Yeah. Deadly accurate. Impressive. I'd like to clone Nathan Lunny. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Mm. It's excellent. I mean, he just negotiated some some contracts with the gas and electric that, in the face of rising costs, mm. were significant. That will. Go into now, does he work with the energy committee with the town? No. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, do we still have um, Selectman Bean? Do we still have the energy commission? We do. Yes, yep. We do. They're on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea if he shared some of his um, expertise. We'd be probably be happy to do that. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Jerry. That's good news. <laughs> 